With schools across Kentuckiana out for a while, we decided it was a good time to help you brush up on a little weather knowledge. Here's today's WeatherWise lesson. Hi everyone, meteorologist Caitlin Fish here with today's WeatherWise lesson. Today we're going to talk about high and low pressure. Have you ever looked at a weather map and thought, I see a lot of L's and a lot of H's, but what do they actually mean? Well, I'm here to explain. Areas of high and low pressure are present across the world at any given time. They are how we describe different weather patterns in the atmosphere and how those will affect our forecast. Areas of low pressure tend to be associated with frontal boundaries, both warm and cold. Hold. So how do they work? Let's start with high pressure. In a high pressure system, air flows down and out of the center. This allows any cloud cover in the area to try and clear out. And that means we get to see more sunshine. Now over to low pressure systems. Air flows in and up into the center and available water in the air begins to condense. As it condenses, clouds form. And if the clouds are given enough time and enough moisture, they can grow big enough to produce some storms. So I hope that helps you understand how our weather maps and in turn our forecast work a little bit easier. I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish and that is your WeatherWise lesson of the day.